Our tarantula collection is growing quickly. They're actually spawning pretty fast. This little guy is going to be tarantula number 1 million. Approximately anyways. Doesn't that inventory look nice? Well, that was fun while it lasted. Are you guys sick of me yet? Once again, we're in need of more miles because I need a bigger backpack. Because bigger backpack means bigger profit. Natural garden table it is. I'll be right back with one of those. All I need, three iron nuggets. That's easy. For some reason, I had a bunch of those lying around my house. And I'm going to be keeping my eye out for rare fish because I understand I can catch sharks this time of year. And I would love to fill a swimming pool full of those for the villagers. That's actually decently valuable. I get 6,660 bells, fittingly. And also 1,000 easy miles. 8 thousand miles for what I need, so I still need another 5,000. That's gonna take a little bit of time. For 5,000 miles, I will remove one resident from the island. You can even pick which one. Well, we'll just take it day by day, and I'm only gonna take five times miles offerings. Another five times reward for another hot item. Is that what I think it is? A climbing wall? I need this. I'm gonna put this above a pond and then put a shark in the pond. If that doesn't give my island five stars, nothing will. Can I make either of those? I don't think I even can. Unless that's what the blue thing over here is. Are you a wooden wardrobe? What are you? Well, look at that. The garbage I spent all around the island actually has a use. Well, this will place that with the climbing wall because obviously. Hi. Good morning. If this knocks my star rating down, that's not good money, but I'll take the miles. So there's another easy thousand, 4250, already over halfway there. And we get 100 points for a simple picture. A picture of the angry bird should work. And I'll check this every day because the streak bonus, that's just easy. It was 50 yesterday, 80 today, tomorrow's probably 100. I'm sure that gets pretty big. No times five today, but it is raining and that gives us the opportunity to find some rare fish. So I'm going to take a look. So far, just a bunch of boring regular fish and I don't got time for that anyways. As you probably know, I'm a very busy person. Unless a turnip lady shows up, do you have something for me? For 95 bells, I am not interested. And another rainy day. With no times 5 took miles, but we do have times 2. Not the rarest of fish, but still pretty valuable. That's an easy 600 bells for talking to a few people. We can hit rocks, we can sell clumps of weeds. Yeah. This is where I practice for hitting you. And that put me over 5,000 points. Now I can sell some weeds, catch some fish, customize things if I could remember how to do it. And since we obviously need more flowers over here, we're gonna plant all of these. Why does it have to give you such a creepy message? Please say I get a ton of miles for having people come to my island. Well, 300 is 300 more than I had before. We are already at 5,630, so this is going way faster than I thought. Well, this is a new one. I want to throw it at someone. Uh, apparently, they're not that rare. And already we've devolved into this. I actually needed to catch one of those. And those were 600 points, so I only have 1,800 more to go. Resources are already getting scarce. Uh-oh. Nope. Nope. Yeah, missed it. I opened the island for one person and this is what happens. Three easy fossils means 150 points. Is there actually a place for these here? All these hours and there's still places on my island I haven't seen yet. But this place is huge. I'm gonna leave before I get lost. And since I got another easy one for talking to idiots, I'm gonna go talk to three idiots. Starting with you. Well, good talk. How about you, blue thing? Two out of three? Which one of you doesn't count as a person? All this stuff. Uh, be right here watching a while. And my fossil assessment has earned me extra 300, so we got 1,000 left. I just can't wait to be carrying around like 30% more garbage at all times. The very next day, I have a times two for a picture, times two for talking to people, but times five for collecting seashells. Not the easiest, but I can do it. Especially since I haven't picked up any of the shells in like 40 years. A reward for catching garbage? 500 miles? I had no idea that existed, but I'm okay with that. I'm only 500 away. Only 300 after taking a picture. Gotta go talk to three more idiots and then we're there. Better yet, I I can just sell some shells and then I don't have to talk to anyone else. But for 400 points, I might as well. We're actually up to 9,000 points somehow. Hey, you in there. I need to talk. Please remove yourself and talk to me. The things I have to do to earn a few miles. I've been so heads down on new gardening ideas lately, I haven't taken any time to be social. Or were you imprisoned in your own home? Six months? That'd have been a lot longer than that. Well, good luck with your problems. 8,000 miles for ultimate pocket stuffing? Absolutely. What is that face she's making in the background? I can't look away. What is she doing? I'd hit you with my net, but I'm not allowed back there. Anyways, my backpack is now that big. Look at all that space. I'll probably check if there's a bigger one. It doesn't look like there is. The next day, at night. Because I really think we could put this big backpack to use. Apparently it's also a shooting star night, so we'll maybe see one of those while we wait. But I don't have all day. Well, it's been about two minutes, I give up. No, if I plant one fruit tree and talk to three people, I'll have the points I need to visit an island. Was that a star? Did anyone else see that? I might have been seeing things. Okay, I definitely just saw one when I was looking at the bird. I know I'm not seeing things. Oh wait, there's one right there. Can we look at that again? Yeah, there we go. 
wished upon it. Nailed it. Fruit tree planted. Points are to be gained. Tickets are to be bought. Now let's just hope for a rare island. So far it's a pretty unassuming island, but I say that about absolutely all of them until I explore them a bit. And to be honest, I don't know if I'd recognize anything other than a lot of tarantulas or butterflies spawning. It makes a big spiral. The fish might be something special. So far, not so much. So what I'm going to focus my effort on for now is removing everything from the island. What are those? Are those rare? It looks like a praying mantis. Whoops, I don't want to hit them with the axe. Well, I kind of do, but the game won't let me. Yep, never mind. Needed to eat one fruit so I could break the rocks if I could hit them. And I'm wisely going to remove the trees last in case I need to use them to build some tools. And upon reflection, I just realized tarantulas won't spawn right now anyways, and that's what I was hoping to spawn on this island. So this won't work. So I'm going to take whatever that is off the tree and be on my way. What is this? Come here. Well, that one gets to go free. Shifting time back a couple of months. Now we just need to grind up another 2,000 miles for a ticket. I've been meaning to finish his watering anyways. Only 200 more to go. I can't wait. Starting to get hard to find any that I haven't watered amongst all this. And that was it. Let's find out what we get for watering. I don't know how many thousands of flowers. 3,000 miles. Tarantula Island, please. And we have ourselves a bamboo island. Which I think I could live with because this one won't take too much to tear down. What kind of butterfly is this? I'm suspicious now. Emperor butterfly butterfly. Is this Emperor Butterfly Island? Because that would also be pretty good. I mean, they're worth 4,000 compared to a tarantula's 8,000, but I'll take either. This better work because this is taking a long time. And it looks like it actually might be because there's our first tarantula. Hopefully the first of many that are going to spawn. Got it. Apparently the way this works, for those that are interested, is if you take all of this stuff off, it really only leaves spots for things to spawn on the ground, and the only thing that can spawn right now are tarantulas. Therefore, only tarantulas spawn. And my axe broke with one tree left on the island. I can buy a new one, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Not sure if the fossil spots matter, so I'm going to remove them anyway. That's not a good sign. Where did that thing come from? I'm going to try and scare it away and hopefully only tarantulas spawn. So as of right now, we've had two tarantulas, including this one, which I'm going to capture using my patenting technique of running up and timing it. I'm going to leave the palm trees on the beach for now because they don't seem to matter. I did get another one of these bugs though. I don't even know what this is, but we're still getting a pretty good ratio of tarantulas, so I'm not going to mess with things too much. Tarantula number three, they seem to like spawning on the rocks. So for the next, I don't know how long, I'm I'm just going to be circling the island waiting for tarantulas to spawn. We've already got four and we've got room for a lot more. Probably shouldn't have brought all my money with me. That wasn't a good choice on my part. This is uh, not great. I might be able to time this though. Got it. The easier and probably wiser way to catch tarantulas is to go like this. That way you can get extra close and time it a little easier. But I just don't have the patience for that. Our tarantula collection is growing quickly. They're actually spawning pretty fast. This little guy is going to be tarantula number one million. Approximately anyways. Doesn't that inventory look nice? Would be better without the four money bags, but you know, whatever. Now, I could sell all these tarantulas to these two, which would earn me an easy $280,000. But I want to see if I can find that bug lady that comes around once in a while, because I know she'll buy for more. I just don't really know when to find her. That didn't actually take very long at all. Not compared to the tarantula finding anyway. Yeah, I know what you do. That's what I'm all about. Yeah, I've got a bug or two to sell. Hopefully you brought your wallet. You're damn right a whole swarm. That island's never going to recover. Worth 420,000 bells. Kind of a shame if I hadn't brought all my money with me, I would have got an extra 48,000 on top of that. So it would have been 468,000. But I'll take 420,000 for a single night's work. And that's 50% more than the store would have bought it for. No, Flick. Thank you. So now that I have 800 and something thousand dollars, I'm going to put it in the ATM. Or am I? Because I have all this inventory space and all this money, so I might as well try the stock market to try and push that over a million. Then maybe I can finally finish paying for my ridiculously overpriced house. Seriously? All the way up here? And you're offering me 109 bells. That's not happening. And for 90 bells, we're in business. I'll take all I can carry. $315,000 worth? I'll take it. But since that wasn't even half of our money, I'm gonna drop these in my house and buy the same amount again. That way we're gonna get double the profit. You guys? Don't do anything. Can I have a discount on this half? No, I just need to find some profit on this. Bottom for 90 shouldn't be hard to do. More is better, but I don't know how patient I'm going to be. So a word of caution to anyone that's going to do this. Be very careful if you're going to time travel. Very careful. Because I changed the date to the wrong date and went to open the game, but I caught myself before I actually loaded into the game. At least I thought I did. But apparently that didn't matter. So I'm not sure that if, as long as the date changes in the Switch, it changes in game, whatever the deal is, I screwed it up again. So I earned that. I just lost 600,000 bells. Well, at least today wasn't a huge profit day anyway, and I still have 160,000 bells. So you know what? It's not the end of the world. The important thing is Tarantula Island works. I can do that again if I have to. I've always wanted a bridge here anyways. How long do you think it would take me to make my entire island flat? And would it be worth it? 
I might do it just to build it right back up again. But maybe in a more interesting layout, of course. But for now, I at least want to make a few bridges where I've been needing bridges for a while. I always leave all the tools to my house so I don't always have my pole vaulting thing on me. Beginning to wonder what happens if you turn your entire island into water. You think that would be worth it? Nothing I do is ever worth it. I think I'm willing to part with my turnips now. 3,900 bells. I think I bought them for about $300,000. So, yep, that's a good deal. Here, let me help you with that. I'm actually an expert fisherman myself. And one more. No. Hi, Mo. I don't want to be talking to you right now. I'm trying to fix your fishing spot. There, that's much better. The fish on this island are mine. Can I just walk out and grab that thing? Nope. That would have been a lot easier. At least I still have my flowers. The only thing that's ever really worked out for me on this island. 